concepts of disease and illness. I think it's important to explore a little bit of the philosophical background. Subjectivity often refers to something that is connected to a perceiving subject, the consciousness of a perceiving subject, for example. Whereas objectivity is when we're referring to objects that are perceived. In fact, objectivity, when we are framing things in terms of objectivity, we are really considering the object's independent qualities. There are differences between the object's independent qualities and those qualities that are perceived by a subject. So this philosophical background is very, very uh, important. Uh, these ideas of subjectivity and objectivity kind of play out often in the background of uh, terms like uh, disease and illness. So for example, disease, we can think about disease as um, suffering, discomfort that is reduced to a kind of objective component so-called objects like the body, organs and systems of the body, various kinds of abnormalities of the, the body. When we use the term disease, we're really referring to this sort of objective quality of human biology, ecology, and so on. But as you can see, you know, this simplistic or rather simplistic uh, dichotomy between subjectivity and objectivity, when we are referring to disease, we're talking about a very specific perceiver. We're talking about a very specific institution of perception. And really, um, in the medical kind of context, we're talking about doctors and biomedical criteria that they apply, that they have to learn, right, and so on, that isn't just simply there out in the world in this kind of philosophically objective sense, right? It's also subjective, a group of subjects that have perceived and developed this body of, of bi biomedicine. So illness, right, in contrast, again, if you put it over into the subjective uh, uh, side of the background in philosophy, well, then it's sort of the experience, right, of the disease sufferer, uh, their subjective experience, their subjective consciousness of that disease, the self's perception of it and the self's development of what that disease is and what that disease means, right? But again, right, the, the dichotomy between the subjectivity and objectivity in a philosophical sense, uh, the contradictions, the tensions, right, in, in those ideas are evident again because uh, the subjective component really is not uh, or cannot be understood outside the context, right, of a so-called objective world, a world that includes things that can be thought of as biology and ecology and so on. Um, when uh, a, a disorder, a form of suffering is conceptualized, perceived, conceptualized, given meaning, it's still in relationship, right, to the objective, right, that objective state of affairs, that objective set of conditions. And so, Disease and illness can be teased apart and thought of as different spheres, but it's problematic to simplify it as disease is simply an objective rendering of discomfort and suffering, and um, illness is simply a subjective one. Actually, both concepts have r relationships to subjective and objective components and kind of point us in you know, different direction. I think for anthropologists, what medical anthropologists, it's this kind of connections between disease, illness, and culture that dominates our discussions is the kind of the heart of what we're, we're really interested in. Uh, we we want to know how a group of people who are sharing life and learning from each other and so on, uh, when they suffer disease, when they when they suffer disease, how do they perceive and how do they act upon it, right? What are their beliefs about that disease? What are their values around that disease? What do they know about it? 
uh, in terms of sort of not just ideas in the head, but their behavior, what they do in the world, right? What norms and rules and expectations govern what is illness to them? How does it refer to a whole way of life? You know, if disease is really going to pull us towards thinking in terms of biology, right? When anthropologists start enlarging the concepts of what's happening and thinking more in terms of illness, right? We also want to see its relationship with culture. So why is this culture concept so important? You know, unfortunately, and I think it's changing, that biomedical doctors have really dismissed many aspects of illness because of their emphasis on the disease and the con concept of disease. Health, sort of absence of disease or absence of suffering or some kind of disorder. You know, it's not just about disease control. Health, absence of disease is something much larger and it's related to that way of life. It's related to the ideas and values and so on that people have. So case study, um, Tamil refugees in, in Norway. This is coming from the work by Anne Siegfried Gronseth. Dr. Gronseth is arguing is that biomedical doctors in the context of Norway dealing with Tamil refugees take medical history, describe the conditions that are being reported by Tamil uh, patients, and they argue that many of them are psychosomatic. And they've been fairly dismissive. And this has been an important uh, critique among the Tamil community in Norway. Refugees have felt that doctors haven't been particularly helpful to them. On the other hand, they've really appreciated Tamil medical traditions. Uh, they found a way to ameliorate their suffering through things like cultural medicine, cultural forms of diet. And so just in a quick you know, example that we have here, if we look at the kinds of discomfort and suffering that Tamil people go to doctors to seek care for, we're in this particular case, as Dr. Gronseth is reporting, if we're viewing it through a very narrow idea of disease, we can't understand what's happening in this context. Kind of conclude here, thinking about right disease, illness, culture, starting to get into what I was referring to as a case study, um, Tamil refugees there in Norway. So what are the kind of takeaways here? Illness is conceptually distinct from the term disease in anthropology. We make a distinction among these. Illness, this concept, is interwoven with, with culture. It's the culture of disease, if you will. And this concept of illness that we are um, articulating here is important in healthcare for providing ways to understand shared and learned disorders among a particular community. It helps us get at what people need, right, to be treated, to heal, and in fact, uh, allows us to bridge objective kinds of understandings of what, let's say, is happening at a biological level with a, what we might refer to, right, as a subjective understanding. That is what people are perceiving and reporting in a way that is belief-laden and value-laden and so on.